Greetings! This screencast is an introduction to plotting contour maps, sometimes called contour plots, in MATLAB. We're going to do this in two parts. This screencast, part one, will introduce three basic commands for contour maps. Contour, which produces plain contour maps. Contour 3, which produces 3D contour maps. And Contour F, which produces a contour map with the with the uh, lines filled in. Then in part two of this series we're going to discuss five more commands for plotting contour maps. Yep, there are at least eight different ways to plot contour maps in MATLAB which should give you an idea of how important of an idea contour maps really are. Now to make sense of this screencast and the next one you need to know how to generate a plot of a two variable function in MATLAB. If you don't know how to do that I have some screencasts called plotting two variable functions in MATLAB and part one of that series should be enough to get you started. Well, first of all, contour maps are things that we make out of two variable functions. So let's create a basic two variable function whose contour maps we'd like to look at. I'm going to look at the function z equals x squared minus y squared. That's a basic hyperboloid. It's got a pretty interesting shape and all kinds of different height values. So the contour map will be pretty interesting too. And in fact, the first steps in creating a contour map are exactly the same steps that we go through to create a mesh plot of a two variable function as we discussed in an earlier screencast. Let's define a mesh grid first of all. Uh, say x, y equals mesh grid negative 3 colon 0 0.13 negative 3 0 0.1 3. This will create a grid of x, y values with the x and the y ranging between negative 3 and plus 3 and using a step size of 0 0.1 units. Now the next step in the process is to define the function itself. That would be z equals x squared minus y squared. Take care to use the, the dot before the caret because we're doing element-wise squaring here. Hit enter. And now if I want to create the contour map, I'm going to use the command contour x, y, z. And this will bring up a basic contour map uh, with a standard color map applied to the lines. And just like you're used to with contour maps, uh, every line that has the same color, like this red one and this red one, uh, sits at the same height level. A basic contour map will give you 10 lines. If I wanted more than that or, a, or less than that, there's a plot option that I can pass through contour that will do that. For example, say I wanted more lines here, like 25 instead of 10, so I get a much busier looking map. To get 25 lines instead of the standard 10, I type contour x, y, z, 25 as an extra plot option. And you can see the result. Uh, it's just a map with more lines on it. It gives you a little bit more detail. Now, as you can see on this contour map, the lines are color-coded, but they don't tell you exactly how high they are. We can actually have MATLAB put labels of height on these lines automatically if we use just a little bit different syntax on contour to begin with. That syntax is much like mesh grid. Contour is able to actually produce two outputs, not just one. So we're going to use square bracket CH equals contour x, y, z. I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of this uh, for reasons I'll explain in a moment. So what this is going to do is uh, produce our usual contour map. It's now back to 10 lines because the last this call here puts it back to the default number of lines. But it's also created two variables, c and h. The c is very big. Uh, it's a 2 by 1144 matrix, and so that's why I put the semicolon there to suppress the output. That Those variables c and h contain the height value information that I want. And so I can use another command called called C label. C label takes two arguments and it's the C and the H that uh, we just created. So C label CH, hit enter, go back to your contour plot and you can see what happened. It now has labeled each of the lines with its height value on the function. So that is the basic uh, command contour, and it's a sort of companion command C label. Uh, there are a lot of other plot options that you can pass to both contour and C label, and it's worth your time to go back and look at the documentation for contour and C label to just play around with some of those options. So now let's look at another kind of contour plot we can get, and that's obtained through a command called contour3. I'm going to set this up the same way I did with contour by defining a mesh grid and then my function. And if I type contour3 xyz, you see what I get here is a contour map where the contour lines are actually placed in 3D where they would sit on the function. I could click on this uh, rotator icon, you can see where these lines fit. I can apply the same options to contour 3 as I could to contour. For example, if I wanted more lines, I could just pass a number there at the end of it like this. And going back to the uh, graph, I see 
a more dense, a little bit more detailed uh, picture. The more contour lines you put on this, the more it looks like a plain old mesh plot. I can also use uh, the C label command as well. If I type C H in brackets equals contour 3 X Y Z, I get a uh, my regular contour map, and I've now created the C and H variables. And if I type C label C H and hit enter, I can go back and you can see that the contour map in 3D has been tagged with the height values for each of the contour lines. There's a third way to get a contour plot, and that's with a command called contour f. I'm setting it up exactly the same way as I did before with the mesh grid defined and then the function defined. If I type contour f x, y, z. Let's just see what happens. So you can see I get what was normally a regular contour uh, map with the lines drawn, and you see the effect of the F. It fills in the uh, space in between the lines. Again, the same plot options work here in contour F as they did before. For example, if I want more lines, I can pass another number at, in contour F, and I get something that looks like this. If I want to label the lines, I can just simply call contour F using a double output syntax like this, contour f x, y, z. That'll produce the variables and then to label the lines I would use c label c h. And we go back to my plot. I see I've got a filled contour plot with the lines labeled. That's it for part one of the screencast. Part two will get into the EZ versions of the above commands as well as commands that will produce a plot of a function and its contour maps on the same set of axes. So don't miss it.